Kahalayim Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Sah Bashem Rakal Kadesh Barakatay Yahweh Barakatay Yahweh Sah Barakatay Yahweh Barakatay Yahweh Sah Barakatay Yahweh Barakatay Yahweh Sah Kahalayim Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Sah Bashem Rakal Kadesh. Dipper honors to the Apostle and Elders, a great millstone who will well. And taught me this truth and peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man, pushing this truth and faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe so we can go home and meet Jerusalem and pray sake. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Rukal, Kadash, Barakatham. Tell you sincere listeners who may hear this. All right. And this is the brother Yutazaka. All right, coming at you with a quick one. You know, through the spirit, I have a. Uh, uh, a good amount of precepts. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through all of them at this uh, moment, you know, because um, I don't have that much time. So, Lord willing, if I don't get through all the precepts, I'm gonna uh, come back with a part two of this. Lord willing, I don't want to run you know. I pray through the Spirit and probably how about Shema Shabbat Shem Rakal Kadash. This lesson is edifying, you know, and I just want to go in on uh, on uh, how we can only. Do what we're doing through the spirit of poverty. How about Shimon Shah by Shimon All right, we can only uh, be the man that we are through the spirit of poverty. How about Shimon Shah? We can only we only have these gifts according to the spirit of poverty. How about Shimon Shah? Okay, everything that we're doing, we say is only through the spirit of poverty. How about Shimon Shah? So we are nothing really, you know. So we have to continue to pray to the Heavenly Father. He keep the spirit upon us to, to, to have faith, to continue in labor, you know, to, to continue. Uh, to continue uh, to keep diligence, you know, to, to continue to study and examine, you know, to, to continue to stay occupied in pro prophecy, you know, to continue to hasten in the day. All these uh, things that we do and are uh, able to do, you know, are through the spirit of prophecy, how about Shemel Shah, by Shem All right, so I'm going to start here in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. But by the grace of Yahweh, I am what I am. So only by the grace of Yahweh, by Shem we are what we are okay that's the only reason we uh can 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 do these video episodes you know go out week in and week out you know uh fight the elements you know constantly study stay in the meditation of scriptures you know be able to fight off demons you know uh put off the old man it's only through the spirit and power of yahabba shima the grace that he's bestowed upon us you know that's 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 the only reason we can we we are what we are we didn't do that we didn't do this on our own you know, the Heavenly Father put the Spirit uh, upon us, you know, through His Son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, and, and, and we were able to, to grasp it and, and receive it and and, uh, and 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 use it to 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 work, you know, work work uh, the ministry of Yahweh Bashim Shah, you know. It says, but by the grace of Yahweh Bashim Shah, I am what I am. And His grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of Yahweh which was with me. So look, when yeah, Yahweh Shem Shah didn't give us this this uh spirit, you know, uh of labor, you know, faith, so forth and so on for vain. He gave it to us for the ministry of of Yahweh Bashim Shah, you know, and into the ministry of the saints, you know, and and that's why we're able to uh, labor more abundantly, you know, because uh, the 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 with, with 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 the grace that He's bestowed upon us, the grace that He put upon us, He has uh, gave us the ability to stay diligent, diligent, and continue to push, you know, because we believe that our our works are not in vain, and we wasn't given this spirit in vain, you know, we wasn't given this Holy Spirit just to sit on it, we wasn't given on it for our own vain purposes, you know, we wasn't given this. This truth to do what we wanted to do with it, you know. We was we was given this truth to work the ministry of Yahweh Shem Shah, you know. That's it, point blank, period. And that's the only reason we are what we are, you know. We 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 are only man of the Lord by the grace of Yahweh Shem Shah, you know. It's the Most High who justifieth. Okay, we can't justify ourselves through our works, you know. Only the Heavenly Father can justify us. You know, so only by his grace that he has given us, we are what we are, you know. And that's and that's that's why we have to continue to thank Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai that he can keep a spirit of sincerity on us for to, for us to continue to thank him and continue to give him uh thanks in all things, you know, and, and continue to call upon him, you know, throughout all things. Alright. So 
Let's go uh, to Luke, the 17th chapter. 17 and 10. Luke 17. <clears throat> okay. This is uh, Luke chapter 17, verse 10. So likewise, Jay, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. You know, so when we do all the things that we are commanded to do, like uh, hit the highways and the byways, okay, you know, be brotherly, you know, uh, uh, put out these uh, video episodes, which is not necessarily a commandment, you know, but this is... Um, more more work this is more abundant work that we more more abundant labor that we could put toward the ministry of Yahabashim Al Shah. You know, when we when we uh cast off cast off the cast off the all the works of darkness, okay, when we uh wrap ourselves up in the meditation of the scriptures, you know, when we when we're in holy conversation in in, in uh in all holy conversation and godliness, okay. These are the things that were commanded unto us. But when we do those, we say that we are unprofitable servants. Because why? Because we are not doing this on our own. You know, we are nothing. Only through the grace of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shabbat, by Shem Kadesh, we can do the things that we do. You know, we can, we can, we can serve. Only through the grace of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shabbat, we are even able to serve Him, man. All right. So we're not, we're not uh, profitable servants uh, ourselves only because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shabbat. Has put the spirit in us to be able to do his will, you know, and, and work towards the ministry of Yahweh Shem and the Saints. Um, that's the only only use. That's 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 what makes us profit profitable only through his will. All right, us who we are and what we're doing is not making us profitable. All right, Yahweh Shem has put the spirit in us to be profitable. You know, so when we do the things that we do, we aren't supposed to feel no type of way like we're doing something. All right. Because we really not doing nothing. Only through the spirit and power you have by Shem Yahweh we able to do the things that we do. And that's why it's a very scary thing, you know, because at any moment, you have by Shem could could take the spirit away from us. So that's why we have to remember to be humble and just remember that the Heavenly Father is just using us as vessels to, to put forth his ministry, you know. I'm going to read it one more time. This is Luke chapter 17, verse 10. It says, So likewise, Jay, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants, we have done that which was our duty to do. And this is our duty. Okay? So that's another reason why we can't feel no type of way. You know? Because our whole lives, you know, uh, before we uh, was, was sanctified through the truth, you know, through, through this word, okay, we, we wasn't uh, thinking about serving you. How about seeing you outside? Okay, we we may have been thinking about serving the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, but we wasn't doing it in the proper form. We wasn't doing it how we were supposed to be doing it, you know. So really, our our labors were in vain. Our whole life before we came into uh, the truth of Yahweh by Shimei Shai by Shimei Kodesh was was uh, vanity, you know, and unprofitable. All right, but even much more now with us. Receiving this truth only through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, we was able to even uh, receive this truth to be able to be profitable. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, how much the more now? You know how much? How much more now? You know we we still not doing nothing special. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't even we 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 couldn't do this on our own. Only only through the heavenly Father's will that we even allowed to do the things that we're doing. You know. So call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahshah by Shem Kadash. All right, this is our duty to do this. All right, when we was in the world, we wasn't we wasn't doing our duty. All right, but now only through the spirit and power you have by Shem Yahshah, we can even do our duty. All right, so we must continue to acknowledge that we are unprofitable servants. We are just vessels that the heavenly Father is 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 using to uh push forth His work and His will. You know, and and call Allah you have by Shem Yahshah by Shem Kadesh, He has uh called us into this ministry, and Lord willing, we can endure until the end. And, and, he, and he chooses us as as, as those uh, chosen vessels who are who are meant to uh, who who are uh, allotted to receive salvation eternally. You know, from for for doing his ministry. You know, for fulfilling his will. You know, this is uh, John chapter five, verse thirty. It's John chapter 5, verse 30. I can of my own self do nothing. Woo! So we of our own self, we can do nothing, man. All right? Only through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Yahshua, we can do anything that we're doing, man. 
All right, that's what keeps you humble and meek and lowly, you know? That's what keeps you in the right mind frame, you know? When you realize that you of your own self can do nothing. We can't we we can't we can't wake ourselves up in the morning. All right, we can't uh we can't uh get ourselves through uh our, our daily task, you know, not not without you have about out shot. And we definitely can't uh retain all this wisdom, knowledge and understanding. We can't uh, continually uh keep the spirit on us to, you know, uh, stay fervent and, and, and push this word and do the work of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, not without Yahweh by Shimei Shah putting the spirit in us to do it. We can't do it by ourselves. Okay, we can't feel like okay, yeah, we can't get the feeling like okay, yeah, I, I got it now. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this and that, and now, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't I don't need Yahweh by Shimei Shah no more. You know, we we need Yahweh by Shimei Shah with everything we do, man. With every little step we take, we need Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. All right, because we make a wrong step, that's that's gonna be our end. You know. So it says, uh, St. John chapter 5, verse 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which have sent me. And this is our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, speaking himself. You know, we make up the body of Yahweh Shah Mashiach on this earth, uh, us who are doing his, uh, his, his, um, his work and faith and sincerity and, 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 and truth and honesty. You know, we make up the body of Yahweh Shah here on this earth all right so uh, of our own selves we can't do nothing okay only through this word that we hear we judge you know so we judge we judge uh based upon the word that was uh the, the manual that you have by has given us to judge by all right and that's why our judgment is just okay our judgment is not just because of what we think is right and what we think is just only because we base our just justice upon Yahweh Shah justice and his righteousness okay and that's because we not seeking our own will we seeking the will of Yahweh Shah that's why the judgments that we judge with is 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 righteous and uh and justified because we are uh seeking the will of the heavenly father okay what does the heavenly father say uh what, what kind of judgment for uh unrighteous unrighteousness supposed to ensue all right and this is what we judge within ourselves and those around us, and uh, when, when we are are uh, judging matters, you know, and we when we are, uh, you know, when we are teaching and doing this work, all right, we 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 we, we judge based upon the will of Yahweh by Shema Shah by Shema all right, and that's because the Heavenly Father put this Spirit in us to be able to do that. We're doing His work. We're just vessels used to uh, execute His will here on this earth, okay, and, and we seek. To execute his will, you know, on through the spirit that he put in us to be able to seek that out, you know. So let's go here. Go to James chapter 1, verse 18. It's James chapter 1, verse 18. Of his own will beget he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first first fruits of his creatures. So of his own will beget he us with the word of truth all right so of his own will he begat us all right let's get this word beget all right this wasn't of our will that we was begot into the truth or that we was begotten as as uh ministers unto yahweh all right strong's g 616 apakuo apakuo it says apakuo and it says to bring forth from the womb to give birth to to produce produce okay bring forth all right, to breathe forth, so to generate, okay? So we was produced and generated by Yahweh Shimei Shah's will, okay? He 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 put, like like it says in Jeremiah, the first chapter, before I knew thee, uh, but be, be, before I knew thee, I sanctified thee and ordained thee to be a prophet, you know, uh, before we, we before we came into the womb, okay? We was generated by Yahweh Shimei Shah for a set amount of time, for a appointed time to come forth and do his will, you know? So let's read this one more time. So we didn't, we didn't produce uh, the ability to do this work. We didn't produce uh, our servitude by our own will, only by the will of Yahweh Shimei Shah, by Shimei Kodesh, okay? This uh, James chapter 1 verse 18, of his own will begat he us. With the word of truth, with the word of truth, which is Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which he is the word, okay? 
and, and with the word of truth is how we were sanctified, how we was cleansed to be able to uh, be ministers unto Yahweh by Shem Yashah, okay? Because we was cleansed and sanctified through this word and made pure through this word. All right, and that's how we can see righteously and judge righteously and do this work continually and be diligent within it, all right, through the word of truth, all right? That that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures, which is uh, the elect, all right? Which is the elect, you know, because ultimately the elect had took part with Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who was the first spirit created, and he created the elect, you know, which was the uh, firstborn of all creatures, which Yahweh Shai Mashiach, he died, you know, and through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, uh, his death and, and, and conquering uh, over, over, um, over this world, you know, through him, we can do the same thing. All right, why? Because we, we come to do the same thing that our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach did, and Yahweh Shah Mashiach came to do the will of Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. And that's what we're doing, you know, so we can be first fruits of the creatures with our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, joint heirs, you know. So this is this is all a, a, a systematic plan set up by the will of the Heavenly Father to, to give us, Lord willing, you know, uh, first fruits and, and inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, you know, and. Uh, and uh to be the, the the first fruits of creatures and uh be be those be those top spirits created for all eternity you know and that's beautiful you know that's be that's beautiful so it, it's it's merciful that the heavenly father even put the spirit on us to even be able to do this because through this we could possibly inherit eternal life and be uh acknowledged as by the heavenly father as the first fruits of all creatures, all right. The firstborn of all creatures, with our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know. So we 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 have to acknowledge the Heavenly Father in all things because we we our our labors that we are doing, yes, they are uh, uh, they could possibly give us, you know, uh, give us opportunity for that salvation and, and an eternal life, but only through Yahweh Bashim Yahushah Bashim Kodesh. We can have that spirit and you know, to be able to do the labors and the works and have the faith to be able to get that eternal life and that salvation. You know, so we so we have to acknowledge the heavenly Father in all things. That's why I say in all things give thanks. Okay, so let's go here to Isaiah chapter ten verse thirteen. For he said, "By the strength of my hand I have done it." And this is talking about Esau, even the so-called white man. All right, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna apply this to those who. Because it's a uh, Second Timothy, th the third chapter, that all scripture was given for proof, profitable for proof, doctrine, our instruction. Well, let's just get it real quick. So I'm misquoting. I'm going to jump back because just in case those want to say, you know, oh, we can't use this scripture for this uh, certain aspect. Well, let's go here. This uh Second Timothy chapter three, verse 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh and it's profitable for for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So all um, scripture is given by the inspiration of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, which ultimately even us being able to do these video epistles and be able to teach the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is uh, is 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 through the inspiration of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. Okay, so all scripture is profitable for instruction in righteousness. Okay, long long as you are within the guidelines of doctrine, okay, and 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 doctrine just pretty much is uh another word for instruction, like how you are instructing someone. Okay, so let's go back here to Isaiah ten and thirteen, see, because we're not speaking to our the, the the heavenly Father put the Spirit on us to even be able to speak these words. All right, we can't do this by ourselves. Okay, so when you hear brother speak, this is actually the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah Bashim Kokadash resting upon them brothers to be able to speak and, and push this and, and, and do and do this work and, and and put these words together. All right. This is not about our own will. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 10, verse 13. For he said, By the strength of my hand I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent, and I have removed the bounds of the people and have robbed them treasures, and I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. Okay, so that's what Esau Edom say, all right. So you going, you you coming in the spirit of Esau Edom when you when you feel like 
that you have gained something by your strength and you have gained something by your wisdom and your prudence okay that you you have uh you 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 have accomplished uh your accomplishments by your own will okay that's that's the spirit of esau Eden. that's the spirit of cain man that that wicked one okay and you don't want to be in that type of spirit all right we don't want to be in that type of spirit speaking for myself you know, that's why we always got to keep a level head and constantly remember that the Heavenly Father gives us the strength and the wisdom and, and, and knowledge and understanding to be who we are. Only, only like, like what we first brought out in 1 Corinthians 15 chapter, only by the grace of Yahweh Shem Al Shai we are what we are. All right. So that should make us all the more humble, man. All, right? all the more humble. And that's the reason why Esau Edom is going to be destroyed because he doesn't acknowledge the Heavenly Father and nothing that he does. Okay. He doesn't acknowledge the uh, majesty of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai for, for, for nothing. Okay, he feels as though his strength and his wisdom has got gotten him where he is at. All right, and we can't feel like that at, at no point because once we feel like that, then Yahweh by Shem Al Shai is gonna destroy us as well. Okay, why? Because you you're being as your father the devil, like Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, and that's not that's not our pappy man. All right, that's not our pappy Yahweh Yahweh. The Heavenly Father, our Lord Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, you know, that's who we follow after, okay? This Yahweh is our pappy, okay? Esau Edom is not our damn pappy, okay? We don't follow behind this devil, all right? This is Romans chapter 9, verse 16. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh that show of mercy. So it's not of him that willeth, okay, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh by Shema Shah that show of mercy. All right, so it's not about how, how, your will, what you want to do. All right, because there might be people out there who genuinely want to serve Yahweh by Shem Al but guess what? They wasn't called or chosen. All right, guess what? Yahweh, that's, that's not the will of the Heavenly Father. The will of the Heavenly Father wasn't for them to be called or chosen and do this work, man. All right, so and, and, and ultimately, somebody can try to will or run themselves into the ministry of Yahweh by Shem Al but if they're not called or not chosen, guess what? They're not going to be able to endure. They're not going to be able to, 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 to be diligent. All right, they're not going to be able to do this work. Um, in 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 its in its in its proper form, man. All right. Why? Because it's your Yahweh Shem Al that show of mercy. You can't you can't show yourself mercy. Okay. Yahweh Shem Al got to give you the mercy to be able to do what what you're doing. All right. That's why Yahweh Shem Al is giving us great grace and mercy and allowed us to be able to come into this fold and have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Him. All right. And and, and push this forth, you know, and, and and possibly be um man of the Lord, you know. So Yahweh Shem Al Shai, he raised us up for 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 his purpose and his will, all right. Not for our own will, all right. This this wasn't this wasn't for us. This was for him, you know. This was all for the glorifying of him, all right. And that's why we have to continually glorify him, all right. This uh Saint John chapter six verse thirty eight. It says, for I am came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. So we ain't came down here on this earth to do the will. Uh, uh, our own will. All right, we came down here to do the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. All right, we came down here to uh fulfill uh, uh fulfill our lots. Uh, Lord willing, as men of the Lord, okay, as representations of Yahweh by Shimei Shah on this earth. All right, to bring down strongholds, okay, and and and, and that's and that's beautiful to be uh chosen to do the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shah because you doing your own will. Your own will ain't gonna bring you nothing but death and destruction. All right, the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shah gonna bring you eternal life. Uh, gl uh, glorification and mercy. Okay, so that's 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 why we down here, man. That's why we down here. All right, to do the will of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. All right, <coughs> I'm gonna grab two more Salaki, and uh, I had a few more, you know, through the spirit. I don't have no more time left, so I'm just grabbing these last two. And uh, Lord willing, I can come back with another quick one uh, later on. All right, this is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh for, for by grace. So let's get this word grace, because this is the second time. Uh, so 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 only by the grace of the, of the Heavenly Father that we can eat, we are allowed to do anything that we're doing. We, we're allowed to have the spirit. We're allowed to be uh, ministers and see Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay. Strong's G, 5485. Charis. Charis. So only by uh, goodwill, love, and kindness, favor, okay, uh, the token of proof of grace, benefit, 
thinks. Let's go down to the Strong's definition. Let's just go here. Graciousness, gratifying, concrete, literal, figurative, or spiritual, especially the divine influence upon the heart, applying the mind, and is a reflection in the life, including gratitude, acceptable, benefit, favor, gift, joy, liber liberality, pleasure, thanking, worthy. So only by the grace, the 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 uh the benefits and the favor and the gift that Yahabashim Yahweh has bestowed upon us, we are able to even have faith in this word, or right, and believe in this word, and believe that the labors that we that the that the that, that the Heavenly Father has allowed us to do through the spirit and power of Yahabashim Yahweh by Shim Rakadash is gonna uh uh not go in vain, man. That's only by this is all the gift, this is all the gift of Yahabashim Yahweh. All right. Not of works, lest, lest any man should boast. So it's not of works, lest any man should boast. So it's not about nothing that we can do down here, man. All right? Unless you're going to be boasting. Unless you're going to be popping shit like you doing something down here. Because we're not doing a damn thing. All right? The Heavenly Father, only uh, only through the Heavenly Father, we can do anything. All right? So I'm going to get this in Jeremiah, the ninth chapter. And I'm going to wrap it up. This is Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23. Thus said the Lord, Yahabashim Yahshua, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glory glory in this that he understandeth and know of me. Who? And I am the Lord which exercising exercise loving kindness. And another word for loving kindness is grace, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord, Yahabashim Yahshah. So the things that the, the Heavenly Father is delighted in, okay, he gave us grace to be to be able to have those things that he is delighted in and do them, man. All right, so we have to glorify him. We can't glorify ourselves. We can't get the feeling like we 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 doing so no matter what we're doing, because only through his grace and his majesty we can do anything, man. All right, so you know, with that, you know, I wanna uh I pray this lesson was edifying. You know, like I said, I'm going to try to come back uh, with a part two and finish the last couple of precepts that I had. Um, I pray through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem. I this edifying. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Hashem. Yahweh Hashem. By Hashem. Recall Kadash. Double honors to the apostle and elders of great millstone. Rule well. And peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect.